Okay, thank you for your introduction, Qingxi. Uh, I'm Hongzhu, a PhD student doing research in the membrane group uh, with Professor Yong Fengmei in Fudan University. Uh, it's an honor to share our recent published work, self, self -power, powered locomotion of a hydrogen water strider uh, here. Basically, we synthesize uh, active hydrogels and it shows self power, self -power uh, powered locomotion on water surface, uh, like uh, inspired by the living water strider. Uh, before I uh, started my uh, presentation, I would like to acknowledge my supervisor Yung Fong Mei and my collaborators and the others in the nanomembrane group for their con uh, continuous help and support. And thanks to the uh, funding as well. Then I will start from the background, uh, like the ability to fly and swim. Uh, working on water surface is a skill that has evolved numerous times uh, during the course of evolutionary history. Human invented many accelerated devices to move freely on water surface. And in the natural world, there are many creatures possess ability to move freely on water surface, such as the swan, basilic lizard, uh, fish, spiders, and some insects, uh, such as mesovilia and uh, uh, water striders. With an average velocity of uh, 60 body lengths per second, water striders use their central hydrophobic legs to strike the water surface uh, in a scrolling motion. During the strike, the four after contact force uh, different for after contact force difference between the central hydrophobic legs are generated as a propulsive force um, to propel them more freely on water surface. Uh, here are some water, water strider inspired micro ro uh, robots moving on water, uh, water surface. Uh, however, the uh, free fares devices and an uh, external energy source are required for them. Uh, as a major component of living tissues, hydrogel are polymer networks infiltrated with water. Uh, they possess excellent softness and suitable modulus matches matching to biological tissues. They also own superior biocompatibility, biodegradability, and uh, uh, excellent transparency and uh, multiple responsiveness. Thus, the most uh, motion and uh, actuation of the hydrogels are based on the responsiveness of, uh, uh, of, of external uh, fields. Uh, such as such as incorporated such as incorporated uh, incorporated magnetic particles responding to the external magnetic field and hydrogel networks shrinking or expansion according to ion diffusions and hydrogel occurs uh, toward the light due due to the swelling ratio gradient responsive to light uh, with different wavelengths. So uh, we synthesize an active hydrogel with dynamic wetting process uh, to, give, um, to give them the ability to um, move on water surface without the external energy supply. Uh, the, active the active hydrogel absorb water in a slow, in a slow speed and uh, uh, reach to equilibrium after 210 minutes. At the initial state, the hydrogel is unwetted and, ex is unwetted and exposed the uh, hydrophobic groups toward the air. After the hydrogel get in contact with water, the hydrogel shifts to the wetted state and undergoes a hydrophobic and hydrophilic uh, rearrangement. As shown in the IR and visible sun frequency uh, generation spectrum signals in literature, there is a, stru a structural rearrangement at the hydrogel gel surface during the transition from the unwetted uh, state to the wetted state. The side hydrophilic groups can rotate along the axis of the polymer chains to minimize the surface energy to move freely. Uh, and the AFM image shows here, uh, shows the uh, modulus and the morphology changes of the active uh, hydrogels during the dynamic wetting process. Then we mirror the contact angles of water a droplet on active hydrogels during the dynamic wetting process. The initial contact angle shows the active hydrogels and the initial state is hydrophobic. They decrease due to the water absorption and the active hydrogel becomes wetted state. Uh, 
these results prove that the surface energy of the active hydrogel change uh, during the dynamic wetting process. In the natural world, natural, uh, water striders prop them, propel themselves by uh, driving their central hydrophobic legs, like, mentioned, like I mentioned above. Uh, when the central leg strikes the water surface, the curvature, the curvature force generated by the asymmetry contact angles uh, work as a dominant propulsive force for the locomotion of the living water strider. After the driving strike, the water, uh, the water, water strider drag the middle uh, legs forward for the recovery, and then they went on for the next thrust. During the recovery, uh, only resistive uh, force existed. So the velocity of the living water strider, uh, living water striders increased from the 21.21 uh, two, uh, seconds per uh, centimeters per second to 37.5 uh, 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 centimeters per second in the thrust stage and decrease uh, back slowly in the re in the recovery state. Inspired by the living water striders, uh, we we synthesis, uh, we put the active hydrogels on water surface. Due to the dynamic wetting process of the active hydrogels, the hydrophobic and the hydrophobic and hydrophilic reorientation of the hydro active hydrogel uh, of the active hydrogels occurs. Uh, and the surface energy, uh, surface energy changes, uh, so that uh, the, the active hydrogels are propelled due to the surface tension uh, difference uh, above, uh, above and uh, before and after the before and after the hydro active hydrogel. Uh, after the hydrogel absorbed the water and became wetted, became wetted, became wetted. Uh, uh, they, 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 the, the mass of the active hydrogel slightly increase and they sink, uh, and the, the, the interface of the active hydrogel uh, slightly sink relative to the air water interface. So that's the newly uh, hydrophobic surface of the active hydrogel is, uh, is exposed, um, and the reorientation process, uh, reorientation and the dynamic weighting process of the active hydrogel occurs again. Uh, so, uh, the the active hydrogel moved toward the more hydrophobic end with a fluctuating velocity, like a living water strider. Uh, then we synthesis the, the active hydrogels with different cross linking uh, cross linking degrees and different monomers. Uh, the hydrogel with initial hydrophobic states uh, and undergo and undergoes the dynamic wetting process. All show the, the locomotion capability, and the initial velocity of these three hydrogels was consistent with the initial water intake percentage, and the motion duration was consistent with the equilibrium equilibrium uh, swelling time. However, for the uh, pristine hydrophilic hydrogel, such as the uh, calcium agenate hydrogel, uh, they show no locomotion on water surface owing to the uh, non-existence non of the dynamic wetting process. Since the locomotion of the active hydrogel is related to the water intake and the dynamic wetting process, we add a water sensitive dye to into the active hydrogel to indicate the life of the active hydrogel miniature robot. As long as we take a photo of the active hydrogel, we and get the mean value and get the mean value of the I mean gray value of the photo, we could know the rough velocity and the remaining remaining life of the hydrogel miniature robots through this uh, through this relationship. We also add a pH sensitive dyes into the active hydrogels to indicate the pH values of the solution. Owing to the easy cross link and tunable rheology. Uh, our hydrogel, uh, our, our active hydrogels are compatible with the commercial 3D printing machines uh, and the uh, commercial 3D printing techniques, uh, so that we could, so that we could uh, use the 3D printing, uh, 3D printing techniques to design the uh, shape and geometry of the miniature robots. Uh, then uh, we we design uh, when the then we design the hydro uh, the hydrogel water strider uh, with different uh, uh, 
asymmetric materials and the geometries. When the active hydrogels are in the central symmetric shape, the trajectory of the uh, the trajectory of the hydrogel is randomly could and uh, could be it could be circular or linear. Uh, to control the to control the locomotion uh, and the trajectory of the active hydrogel water striders, uh, we 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 design uh, we we coated the hydrogel or we coated the uh, active hydrogel with uh, with the P hydrophobic PDMS, and only one uh, one side of the active hydrogels are get contact with water, so that it can move uh, it moves circular towards the PDMS end. As discussed before, the surface tension and the hydrogel, hydrogel surface dynamically decrease uh, owing to the dynamic wetting process. And the surface tension difference between the hydrogel and PDMS surface push the water, uh, the water hydrogel water strider to the more hydrophobic surface, uh, which is the PDMS surface. Uh, when two rectangular tails are were added to the round shape, uh, to be in a symmetric, uh, in a symmetric geometry, the side with larger water hydrogel interfacial area have more contact with water and a relatively lower surface tension than the other side. The hydrogel water strider move in a straight line, uh, moving a straight line uh, towards the uh, round shaped surface. When the active hydrogels interact with boundary, uh, they behave hydrophobic features. The calculated total energy curves indicate the uh, hydrogel repels from the hydrophilic boundary and attract to the hydrophobic boundary to minimize interfacial energy. Thus, when the hydrogels move to in fixed boundary, the active hydrogels move away from the hydrophilic boundary and sticks onto the hydrophobic sticks onto the hydrophobic boundary. Uh, when when the hydrogel meets untethered when the hydrogel meets untethered boundary. Uh, they, they expels the it expels the hydrophilic floating objects and brings the hydrophobic uh, um, floating objects moving together. Uh, control uh, then we 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 design the boundary uh, properties uh, and uh, show the control locomotion of the active hydrogels. Uh, here is a maze moving behavior of the hydrogel water strider. And the sound board game like motions of the active striders. The first one is a table, uh, it looks like a table tennis. Uh, then it's a, a football like. Uh, then we, we use the hydro, hydrogel uh, water striders to collect the uh, floating plastic. Uh, pollutions, uh, pollutants. Uh, also, uh, they they due to the hydrophilic and hydrophobic interaction, the hydrogel water strider could used to uh, identify the surface, uh, which which one is the oil coated and which one is the normal glass. It will uh, stops uh, to the edge of the uh, glass with oil coated. And then uh, we incorporating stimuli responsive groups. Uh, into the active hydrogels to uh, control the uh, locomotion of the hydrogel uh, more precisely. Uh, before uh, here, the video shows the, uh, the the different locomotion before and after uh, stimuli uh, owing to the geometry changes. As shown above, the hydrogel water strider and the water air interface show hydrophobic properties and moves away from the. Uh, moves away from the hydrophilic boundary and uh, and the land. However, the underwater part of the uh, the underwater part of the hydrogel is wetted and behaved uh, hydrophilic features. Uh, thus, after stimul stimuli, the curved up the curved up active hydrogels exposed the, the wetted surface at at and above the water air inter interface. 
uh, which are attracted to and move toward the hydrophilic land. Uh, thus, deformable and uh, mimetic locomotion by stimuli responsive active hydrogels are realized. Uh, in, in summary, we, we, realize, uh, we synthesize an active hydrogel uh, to let the locomotion of hydrogel uh, move from, from responsive to uh, their active locomotion. And then we use the geometry design, materials design, boundary conditions, and the incorporating stimuli responsiveness to precisely control the locomotion of the active hydrogel. Uh, the future direction of, uh, uh, of the active hydrogel uh, uh, may include uh, three parts. The first one is uh, uh, the, the, the first two parts is about the, the locomotion control. Uh, uh, we, inco uh, we incorporate some uh, catalytic components or magnetic components uh, to let the active uh, hydrogel move uh, in multiple modes and uh, in multiple consideries. And uh, uh, the other side, we want to uh, do more research about the group behaviors of the active hydrogels to sh show that uh, whether if they have uh, they have a swarm or other uh, group behaviors. And, and uh, on the other hand, due to the active hydrogels, uh, uh, shows the, the very uh, slow uh, water, water intake and dynamic wetting process. Uh, we want to know that uh, whether this active hydrogels could be used for the sustained release of the drug. Uh, that's all, thank you for your time. And uh, any questions are welcome.